Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Herpiculture with Ronald Camp. Today I'm doing a little maintenance in the in the reptile in the reptile room, and uh, I'm just looking at this new cleaner reptile cleaner I found online. Um, it's called Absolutely Clean Reptile Cage Cleaner Natural Enzyme Formula, safe for reptiles and amphibians. Eliminates messes and odors quick and easy. Uh, so this is what the thing looks like. This is a USA-based product out of Colorado, Colorado. Uh, and uh, that's kind of what really kind of made me want to buy it because I like to support United States of America products, keep it in the country, helps us out. Anyways, um, uh, the reason I was searching for new products was because I love F10 products, but they don't like California for some reason, or at least California doesn't like F10. For some reason, the I'm assuming it probably has to do with, let me take these silly things off. These are my reading glasses. And as I get older now, I can't see too good anymore uh, up close. So. <clears throat> For some reason, that probably has something to do with um, the environment, I'm assuming. <laughs> Who knows? California's weird like that. And I'm really bummed out because I love F10 products. That's the veterinary cleaner. Stuff's great. So I'm looking for alternatives. It's getting harder to find. Amazon used to ship F10 to me. Um, but I guess they probably got their hands slapped. So I'm going to use this to clean the cage, you know, get all the poop out, deodorize, kind of what it says on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and chlorohexidine, chlora, chlorohexidine solution diluted to use for my disinfecting purposes. So last time I gave you a brief view of kind of what my cages, my terrariums look like. Um, I'm going to focus a little more on the items that I changed and what I did differently here. It was kind of a mess last time up on top, up on top of the Marlene's terrarium here. As you see, it's all cleaned up. So I went with Mr. Reptile <clears throat> Misting System. Very impressed. What an awesome system. Simple. So this is what I got going on here. Here's the power source for Mr. Reptile here. Plugged into Ink Birds um, humidity and temperature controller. The probe on the right is the humidity sensor probe, which is located, oh, that's locked. The humidity sensor is located up top. Boom, look at that guys, huh? Shut this, otherwise it's gonna keep running. Oops. And as you see here, and that's flashing, so I really can't show you really. The system comprises of a power cord going down to a motor. That's really quiet. I have it mounted to a piece of three, uh, into a quarter plywood. That goes to a bucket of water. The pump is, has a filter on it. And that's it. What a cool system. Thumbs up, Mr. Reptile. 